got beat for you. This way. <sighs> I love King's Landing in the afternoon. Oh, we the gonna sun have that just chat. barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? We tour slightly further from the guard. Just through here. Ooh. Super what are you cool. doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh no. Put it back. Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. I have no agency here. A little won't hurt. Sure. I'm getting caught. Ah. <sighs> so, I, uh... Liquid confidence. Well, I just... Take two more drinks. Oh. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Going to wait 15 Listen, minutes until that actually hits you? If I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. Yep. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. On the old gods and the new? My on mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. <gasps> she... Came pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Ned Stark. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I don't have her favor, she hates I me. know she often confides in you. And I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Hmm. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. No, I'm very invested in this arranging your marriage. I can You need this more than I do. No, that's enough. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. <laughs> Drink lord with Tyrion, us. my lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink. From that flagon? Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. 
Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. Yes. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Well, hey there. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? All you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You can't us? do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, because my lord. Because in the neck. I don't think me in so. The neck. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. <laughs> lord says. Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood? Sure, strip the Lord forest. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. Ooh. You will have him at your mercy. I like that. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Eh, it's worth the risk. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. It's not like we're bringing a warrior back from ASOS. To I'll consider the arrangement. Whatever. To lend a... Uh, of course, you'd suggestion. have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Hmm. All right. My lady. Um, is there... No, I don't get to do anything with that guy. Alright. Legend!
Sneaky, sneaky, walking. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. An army That's why have. you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellsorts. And a man to lead them. A sellsort? Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. Yeah. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. Dang it. But Croft owes she me gets a favor. All the I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. <laughs> right. Oh no. <laughs> well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. You're a better fighter than I. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Oh. Ponte Renas! Can it's a Balba? That was I can't remember the kid's name from episode one now. Let's try this again. I'm gonna assume that I just didn't press the button fast enough. Drag the body in. Drag the body. Let's go. You're quick. I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsey Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Winter that will lose because we have no stores. Yep. Where's that coal boy? that way or mind your own business 
Well, I wouldn't want to snoop. Do, 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 do. We'll just keep going down the hallway. I told you not to snoop. We were walking at the wall. We were intentionally looking out the window while we went by. Call out. Hello? Mira. Eh, I think all our stuff's on the up and up. I don't really have to worry about it at all. I mean, this sucks. Let's make sure they didn't jack any of my stuff. Alright, I got the thing my... Everything's still here. Good. I'm glad you just said that aloud for me, because I was trying to figure it out. I thought I had a diary or something in there. Let's check out this note. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. I think we're pretty solid with the imp. Oh, I don't think I get a choice in that matter. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. Don't worry, we have. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. To <clears throat> my lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant enough, Maester. <laughs> just I, remember was that you'll want to see gentleness in you too. In this incident? I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I was She's really here. my balls. Roderick? You look... Welcome to Ironrath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. She's a nice lady. This is gonna work out. Please. I think it just don't, like, screw it up. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. I can still dance. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. She will not remember So this. much has changed since we were children. Play in hide and seek in the grove and You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. <laughs> yes, it's just But Roderick. Don't pick the wrong answer. I am. Um, I need to ask you something. How when I arrived at Ironrath today, 
Your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. Yeah, Bruce Bolton. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Ramsey. Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No, he just wants to assure our loyalty. Oh, really? I cur I, uh, I'm going to be honest happened. with you, Roderick. I hate Ramsey. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, I... I have some My concerns. father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. It's your decision. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. Mm. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Ooh. Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Mind your own business, Whitetail. My son's affairs are not your concern. Then why not tell him why you invited me here? I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. That is not what he said. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. I'm not ordering And keeping them, them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral... Show sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. Yeah. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow I know said... what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. 
Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what it came for. I'll leave really you to your business. Situation. I screwed that up really bad. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? My bolster works. The maester assured me. He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's Paul Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. Slippery slope, ma'am. Slippery slope. Send a raven to Ramsey. My lord, are you well? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to kill that man. War! <laughs> We're so screwed. <laughs> we did that most wrong. Most wrong. <laughs> Maybe the squire can fare better. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't apologize the whole time either. It makes you look weak. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. It won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said, you fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there, at the Twins. Aye. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? We fought as best we could, but it wasn't enough. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did. It's not right. They killed my lord. I couldn't stop them. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Oh, you could have fought them all off. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the Night's Watch. That's not true, you're Stark. The King in the North. The King in the North. Oh, there's no one else. It's just me. This is awkward. Oops. Oh, we're gonna have to get elevator down to get too, aren't we? It's just six hours out here. I'm sorry. There were those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you Craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. There are some I trust. I mean, they're frickin' thieves who will oh. jack anything valuable with you if you're sure, but... 
these torches? Why aren't they lit? I guess we can wait till nightfall. No need to be wasteful with the torches. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. I am Lord. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. You gave your word. Oh, I'd you say you'll get before. used to the cold. But you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Tell me all about his fingers. I need the fingers backstory. How long ago was it? Was it last week? You guys... last week. I elected not to do this. Mira, you are disobeying my will. Run as fast I'm as here, you. but where are you? Just kidding, I am Neil. Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now! If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. God will remember that you lied. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. What do you know about Lord Tyrion? Oh, I could tell you a great deal about the Imp. He's a beautiful singer. Good on the loot. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. Yeah. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. Fuck you! 
Well, at least I'm not a suspect. Ditch the knife, ditch the knife. You? What? What? What happened? You saved my life. What was that? What did it look like? He tried to kill me. Why would he do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. I thought somebody needed coal. I was doing my, la my last coal run of the night. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. Good luck, and be careful. Thanks. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Ditch the knife. <clears throat> yeah, what the frick? Why would I need that knife? It's not like they have, like, fingerprints. Clearly a small girl was holding this. I wish your brother was here. You were right to stand up to him. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. Okay. It's been a while since we've met. Can yes. you marry into the White Hills? Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? Yes. My lady. Roderick, I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. Don't screw this I know up. my words probably mean nothing to you. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes. He's well. Not happy, but... Just know your brother is safe at High Point. Good. I'm looking after him. Thank you. What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right, but he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. Tell him to stay strong. Have him repeat our house words every day until I come for him. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's... Good to see you, Talia. Hey, we're, we're working out a political marriage I hope marriage I can here. count on your discretion. Yes. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Oh, she's going to be mad at me. Mother. Your, your brother should have been Come here. join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead, they send her. She's nice. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. Yeah, what was I watched house? as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. 
My children. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. It won't come to that. We will defeat them. War asks much of a man that he is not prepared to give. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I can't read this family at I all. suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Okay. This is the speech that can my father save or he, lose our it was everything. house. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. I never knew a better man. And I am I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. But now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. I am from ice. I, I am from ice. ice. Do we grow trees out of their bodies? This is the best tradition ever. Iron from ice. Yes. All right, everybody, hush down. It is gonna be good. I heard her practicing. Remember how I voted not to go meet the guy in the garden? I mean, I would have been murdered in my sleep instead, but at least it wouldn't have been my fault. Fight on, fight on, 
Excellent, and that's probably the end of uh, episode two. I feel like that was shorter than episode one, but that's fine. Anyway, that was thoroughly enjoyable. Um, so I guess I will see you guys next time on Game of Thrones, where we will... What is going on? Her. Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Oh, let's kill him. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Why wouldn't I be included? Be weird. Oh, the things we do Except for, for family. You, Tuttle. We'll get I you wonder next sometimes time. if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy I, the wedding. I killed How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? All right. Um, looks like I was in the majority here. Most people didn't forge a letter. Um, let's see, everyone refused to kiss Lord Whitehill's ring. Um, La, oh, I could have had the betrothal of Elena Glenmore. That would have been a nice thing to have. Oh, yes, yeah, stood up for Cotter. Um, and most people killed Mirror's attacker. From highs, from eyes, we forced us both. All right. To ice, we I probably won't have you all sit through this, so um, thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next part. Bye. Bye. Oh, this red.